Hello, welcome back. It has been a minute. Uh, David here, David Lane Design. Uh, gonna continue our series on vintage military leathers or ammo leathers. Uh, our wrist check today, or my wrist check today, I am wearing a 14060M. Uh, it is the middle of summer. It is 90 plus degrees out. I'm on the fourth floor of a 100 plus year old building. Uh, so uh, I am wearing a nylon NATO strap and I highly recommend them, uh, especially at the height of summer. Leather is amazing. Uh, but it's not always the best for every scenario. Uh, and I think a, a 90 degree day is one of those. Um, a bit about this watch, it really uh, signified a, a major milestone in my life when I turned 40. Uh, this was something I had purchased for myself, but in addition, it was just so happened that in the year I turned 40, uh, we had our first launch with Hodinkee. Uh, shout out to Ben uh, Clymer and uh, the team over at Hodinkee for making that uh, possible and making that happen. Just an amazing experience for us. But uh, fast forwarding, I want to talk about Swedish military leather. And uh, I think of all of the military, military leathers I have, Swedish is probably one of my favorite. Uh, it's probably the most range in terms of color. Uh, the, the French has quite a bit of range from light to dark, but the, the Swedish, as you'll see, is pretty wild. This represents kind of the median, like what most of the pouches that I have are. It's got a great texture. It smells like gunpowder. Uh, I've got a lot of usable leather in these pouches, uh, and they definitely will show some scratches and scars and uh, some use. Uh, to that point, here is the darker version. This one's obviously just heavier patina, probably saw more water in, in combat uh, and just got, you know, run through the, uh, uh, the uh, fields a little bit more uh, on this piece. So it's a little bit darker. And then I actually have a new old stock one, uh, which you can tell right here is just basically brand new. You can still see the maker stamp here. Um, the nice thing about this leather is it does have a real subtle and natural looking grain to it. Uh, I don't know if it's stamped or if it is a natural grain, but uh, just a little bit of texture and just a beautiful, beautiful strap. I, I, again, that series of uh, browns and tans, which happen to be my favorite. Super easy to pair, uh, really great with old military watches. Uh, obviously, and uh, even new new watches. I think uh, I think the Rolex would look great on one of these uh, uh, vintage military leathers. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you for your patience between the uh, first and most current video, the last and most current video, which I think has been a few months. Uh, I'm going to be doing these series a little bit more often, so. Please send us uh, DMs, uh, messages, comments. Let us know what you want to hear. Uh, I, I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching.